Hey guys, it's Sammy. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today I am going to be doing a very, very, very exciting video. And this video goes out to every single one of you guys. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for 1,000 subscribers. I, this was like the, something I never thought I would reach. When I started this channel, that was like the big goal, 1,000 subscribers. And I can't believe I reached it. I also can't believe, as of this video, I've made 100 videos and posted it to this channel. And that's just crazy to me, like this is like insane. So there's so many people that I wish I could individually thank, but there's literally so many of you, but you guys know who you are. Thank you so much for being my friend, being supportive, all these things over these past two years almost. And yeah, so today we're doing a QA, and a and I asked you guys on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram for some questions and I got a decent amount and I'm really excited about it. So without further ado, let's get into the questions. So starting off with the YouTube questions, Stacy Loves to Read says congrats. Thank you. Tara Bellinger says, Hi Sammy, congrats for reaching 1,000 subscribers. Such a huge accomplishment. Everything would have never happened if it wasn't for booktube and I'm so happy for you for doing what you love. Keep on fighting the good fight. Um, thank you so much. Um, she said, I have three interesting questions for you. So she asked, what are some of your favorite YA contemporary novels that focus on strong family dynamics? To all the boys I love before, Simon vs. Homo Sapiens Agenda, I cannot emphasize enough, are two of my favorite YA contemporary novels that focus on great family dynamics. I love both of the families in both of those novels. They are so amazing. Uh, I cannot express that enough. She also asked, what is your all-time favorite show on the CW? Guys, The Vampire. Diaries. Oh my god, the Vampire Diaries. I'm not gonna even get into it because I, I just can't because it's literally ridiculous, but the Vampire Diaries slays my life and that's basically all I'm gonna say on the matter because whew, oh my god. And her last question was, what are your thoughts on the recent passing of Stephen Hawking? So it's kind of interesting because as you guys probably know, I'm in college and when like Everybody got the alert that he had died. I was just like chilling with all my friends um, in the dorm room and we kind of just started getting to talking about all the things that he did and talking about like space and the universe and life and all that kind of stuff. So while I definitely didn't know everything about him prior to that time because I really am not into science and I really had never looked into it, it was really interesting hearing everything that he did do and talking with my friends about like all the amazing stuff that's come from his discoveries. So that's like my little story about that. So I hope that's a good enough answer. Elizabeth Mackey says, 1,000 congratulations, thank you. Megan Perez, love you girl. You've been here from like the very beginning. Yay, congrats on 1K, woohoo. Thank you, thank you. Anne says, congratulations. What would you say to someone who's thinking about starting a booktube channel? <sighs> this is always such a hard question. So I would say some advice if someone's looking to start a booktube channel are start off with making the new to booktube tag or making a review for a popular book that you love but my biggest advice is just go out there and do it it doesn't matter if you have a fancy camera it doesn't matter if you have a, a microphone it doesn't matter if you have fancy lights nothing take your camera take your phone take whatever you have film a video put it up and just enjoy it like this community is so welcome this, everyone's so nice you'll be welcomed with open arms like there's no reason to really fear other than like if people in your personal life found out about it and you're embarrassed about that i dealt with that it wasn't super great but if it's something that you're really interested in go out there and do it seriously seriously xo spidey xo love you to death she's saying congratulations i'm so happy for you oh my gosh she wrote a really sweet comment thank you so much alberta hargreaves said congratulations what tips do you have for people who want to read loads but also have loads of schoolwork i love your videos btw thank you so much so this is something i struggle with a lot and the best thing for me has first of all been audiobooks i cannot stress audiobooks enough they've literally saved my reading since i've been in college i listen to them all the time when i'm walking to class before class in the middle like all the time they've saved my reading also i bring my book with me everywhere because you never know when you're gonna be in a class and your professor's late and you just have extra time to read i cannot stress it enough if you bring your book with you wherever you go you will end up reading more also if you can just fit like 10 or 20 minutes into your day just for reading 
you're going to read more. I know between audiobooks and reading in between classes and just fitting like 20 minutes into my day for reading, I can read like 200 pages in a day, which is amazing and totally great for college. And you just can't get discouraged by not reading as quickly as maybe you used to um, when you had less coursework or over the summer or break or anything like that because it's not you just can't get yourself down about it because once you get yourself down you're not gonna read you're not gonna feel like it you're gonna be like well i'm not gonna be able to read that much anyway i don't even want to bother you just have to make time and that's like the biggest thing so yeah and read like what i was saying congratulations once again sammy love you and your channel i will always support your channel thank you so much i'm going to link all the people that are like have been so supportive in the down like down below so you guys can check out their channels a lot of them are new and they're so sweet and I love them all so much. So read like, whoa, check her out down below. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for all these questions. So that's it with the YouTube questions. So we're going to move on to hmm, Instagram. So the first question comes from Head Over Books 15 I love you so much. I'm going to leave her channel down below too. She's new. She's amazing. She's so sweet. She leaves such nicest comments. She asked, would you ever do a video about new YouTubers? Yes, 100% yes. I've been wanting to do... A video about like new like youtubers that i like to watch and all that kind of stuff because i feel like it's so important for us to uplift other especially smaller creators in this community because there's always a focus on like the bigger creators which i love they're all amazing but we really need to focus on our smaller creators so yes i would love to do a video like that in the future and can you give some advice on how to boost your youtube channel I wasn't that great with this and I feel like especially in our community it's kind of harder to necessarily boost your channel because it's a definitely a niche community. The biggest thing is just uploading frequently, making social media, like promoting your posts, um, commenting on other people's like videos and like interacting with other creators because once you interact and people know who you are and know you in the community you're going to get more subscribers. Um, it's really hard to grow unless you make a lot of videos and a lot of popular videos and that's not for everyone and it's like you have to just like do certain things so I think it's definitely harder to grow in this community versus some other communities where you it's more of like a broad sort of channel like beauty or fashion because there's a lot of people who are interested in that so it's kind of harder to grow and you have to kind of take it at a different perspective but I definitely say upload frequently go to other channels comment on their videos be be like sincere in your comments don't just say check out my channel and stuff like that watch their video comment thoughtfully and they'll check out your channel in return and that's what i found to be the most effective when i was growing my channel so yeah Ooh, got like a quick question now all right xo spidey xo once again love you she said favorite movie as of recently leap year but also the other day i watched coco and that was a fantastic movie Loved it to death. I really don't know like what my favorite movie of all time is. I don't know. Favorite Salvatore brother, Damon. Don't even get me started. We're not going to go into it. Top three favorite book characters. Laura Jean, Resand, and Warner from Shatter Me. That's what we're going to go with for this one. Favorite song at the moment. I got this. Once again, though, check out my Spotify. I always link it down below. I spend a lot of time on it. I really hope some of you guys check it out occasionally. I really love my Spotify playlist. Please check them out. I've been loving this song called The Middle by Zed and Myron Ma Morris and Gray. So why don't you just meet me in the middle? In the middle? Baby. You get the idea. And what's a hidden talent you have? Um, my talents are few and far between, so I can do this with my hand. Let's see, can you see? Um, you see how, like, I can, like, tilt it all the way down? That's, like, the only thing. You can try this and see if you can do it. Um, it just means I'm, like, double-jointed or something. I don't know. Uh, that's really all I have. I'm really not that talented. I like anything, so... Yeah, that's my secret talent. <laughs> Winnie the Joe asks, what books are you embarrassed to love but you really love? I'd say I definitely have a spot in my heart for trashy new adult novels. And that's kind of odd because I don't really read them that often, but I definitely have an interest in them. But they're not usually at the top of my TBR because I have so many other series I need to catch up on. 
but I definitely enjoy them a lot. I, of course, love the A Court of Mist and Fury series or A Court of Thorns and Roses series. And lately, that's been getting, like, a lot of backlash because the fans in it are a little extra, especially about their love for Resand. I don't know if you've seen it, like, with the pillows they're making of him. It's kind of odd. So, I do love that series, though. The farther I get removed from it, the less I sort of love it. Um, it doesn't really hold up, if that makes any sense. But, yeah, that's also something that I'm kind of embarrassed to like right now because it's, like, kind of weird. And Soph the Reader asks, what book, book series do you wish would be adapted into a movie or TV series? <sighs> There's so many. The Illuminate series, I think, would be a fantastic movie franchise. I think that would be such a good trilogy. Oh, Three Dark Crowns. That series would be a fantastic, I'm not sure, movie, or I think TV series would be better for that because there's so much that happens. I feel like it would be really good with, like, cliffhangers at the end of each episode. Those are the two I would recommend. So good. All right, so that is it for the Instagram comments. So let's move on to Twitter. All right, so starting off, we have some more questions from Exos by the XO. She said, what two book characters would you say are just like you? Laura Jean Covey, for sure. Absolutely, 100%. Oh, two. Mirabella in the Three Dark Crown series right now. Totally relate with her. I don't know exactly what it is, but... I love her and I feel like I see myself in her. So, yes, her. Um, and then she also asked, do you have any bookish merch? If not, are there any out there that you'd like? Oh, I'm not at home. Okay, so I do. Um, I have one or two mugs. I have a shirt, an Akamaf shirt, or Akabor shirt. I'm not sure which, I forget what the quote is on it. I have like a bunch of bookmarks. I have... Oh, I have another shirt that I want in a giveaway. It's like books and coffee. I think that's like bookish merch. Um, but if, but I think that's really it. I have my, oh, I do have my favorite though is this book sleeve. Oh my God, I love it. It says, don't let the hard days win is by BookBo. I'll link down their shop down below because I love, I got this in a box, but I love these. They like keep your books safe and I love carrying it around. But as for any that I would like, I'm always down to get more book sleeves because I love them. I think they're like the best thing ever created. But there's nothing really in particular that I'm really interested in getting just because, I don't know. I'm, I pre-ordered Akka Fast and I'm getting like the little pin. So I'm really excited about that. But other than that, like there's nothing really, like I'm not super into bookish merch. I like like the bookmarks that have like, they look like the book characters. I think that's like the biggest thing that I would like. Um, but other than that, that's really it. Katie from Kate's Book Date, love you. You've been here since like the very beginning too. I cannot, I, I'll link her channel down below. She's amazing. She's been like branching off and creating other videos, which props to her. They're all super great and they are so interesting to watch, especially since like, I don't know, she's just great. So check her out down below. Um, she asked if there, could, if you could be any animal, which would you be and why? I'd definitely say like some sort of bird just because I feel like birds kind of have a short lifespan though. I'm still saying a bird. I'm not sure what bird, but I just like the idea. Oh, you know what? I also kind of want to be a squirrel. I don't know if how many of you are in college, but college squirrels are like possibly the greatest creature I've ever encountered in my whole entire life. I love the squirrels on my campus. They are first of all so friendly. Like they'll come right up to you and like get all up like on you. But they're just so fun. They like climb up and they like chase each other around. Maybe I'll be a squirrel. I, you know what? I would be a squirrel. I would be a college squirrel. I would live on a college campus like all these cool ass squirrels. Anyway, we're getting a little out there, but that's what I would do. The Lawn Gnome asks, who were some of your influences to creating your own channel and what were your, some of your reactions seeing your finished first video? <sighs> okay, that's actually a really great question. So influences for creating my channel, 100% Emma Books. Um, when I first like made, like got into booktube videos, um, she was one of the first videos I saw and I just loved her personality like so much. Like she was so much fun and I wanted to make videos bec like just like her. Um, so she, her 100%. And what were some of my reactions seeing my first finished video? Honestly, I was really proud of my first video when I first made it because it was a review, it was like, I thought it was like intuitive. I thought it was really great. Looking back on it now, wouldn't say the exact same thing, but 
at the time I really loved that video and I think it still stands sort of as a <laughs> review video that I, I wouldn't delete it in the future. Araceli, read like well again, she's linked down below, check her out. She said congrats, thank you so much. Who's your favorite Harry Potter character so far? Oh, I'm so glad somebody asked me about Harry Potter. Okay, so I've only read the first two books. So there's definitely characters that I haven't met yet because I know people talk about all these different characters and I just like have not met them yet. <sighs> ah, favorite character. Oh, this is hard. Okay. Out of the core three, I think I like Ron the most. Um, but out of like kind of like branching out a bit i really like ron's mom okay that's like kind of like not a character but ron's mom is like the best person ever and like i kind of have a love-hate relationship with draco malfoy like i don't like him but i find his character very interesting so that's what i like but i don't actually like him at all like he's kind of the woke but it's whatever um and then she asked do you ship klaus and caroline from tvd don't even get me started. I'm still only on, s I'm about to finish season four. I'm still like super behind. Um, if any of you were keeping up with my Vampire Diaries binge, I stopped like for a good while now. I'm pretty sure, but uh, yes, 100% yes. It hurts my soul. Do you listen to K-pop? If not, listen react to DNA by BTS and all of BTS music, lol. I don't listen to K-pop. I always see people talking about it. I always see people posting like pictures of like the the people and I don't know um I don't know anything about it but I will listen to the song and react to it because I've never listened to it ETS okay found it playing now I think I've heard this song definitely catchy This is definitely fun. Like, I definitely listen to this. I don't think I'd be, like, super obsessed. Like, I understand why people are super obsessed because, trust me, I fangirled, a, 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 like, for much, like, weirder things. Um, I like it. I think I'll probably listen to it in the future. Maybe I'll add it to my playlist so I can, like, listen to it more. I will actually add it to my playlist. Let's see. Okay. So, yeah. And her last question and the last question of this video, sadly, is... What is your favorite and least favorite thing about college? <sighs> least favorite thing, 100%, is how you can be like, s like, just like going so smoothly through college and then you come to a test and you literally crumble down and have a mental breakdown because that's me every couple weeks when I have a test in a class. Like I'll be smooth sailing and then I'll get to a test and it's just like the worst thing that's ever happened to me ever. That's my least favorite. My favorite thing, it's just like, the experience itself is so much fun. Like living in a college dorm, as shitty as my dorm is, basically, link up above, link up above, I always screw this up, link up above to my college dorm tour. Um, it's just great. Like, it's, it's not even like the independence part, which also is really great, but, um, it's just like living here and being in the environment that I find like really fun. It's kind of like having two homes, which is kind of fun. Like you have your home life with your family and you have your life at college, which is like not completely different, but you have like a whole different set of friends than you have at home. And I just really love that. I think it's like a really great experience. And if you do have the opportunity to live at college, I 100% recommend it. Um, it's definitely allowed me to meet so many new people and I could not recommend that. And so yeah, that's sadly it for this video. But thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for all your questions. They mean the world that you guys are interested and even just little questions that I have to answer. And once again, thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. I, I'm so grateful, 100%. And yeah, I guess this is it for this video. Quick little updates. I'm starting to like plan out my life a little bit more and um, I'm going to try to be filming more and I'm really excited about that and I'm really excited to hopefully get some videos up for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Once again, comment down below any questions, any extra questions you might have or anything. I hope you guys all have a great day.